Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just moved in. This is my first official day living here. And it's my first time cooking here. It's a mess. Do you see this? The whole place is a mess because we have a pack. I got my Walmart order and it's just all thrown onto the floor. This is part of my son's bed that we have to like build today. And yeah, I just have lots of things to unpack. It was a mission. I had to like scramble everywhere looking for my oven mitt because <laughs> I made some garlic bread. And tomorrow I am starting my fitness. I haven't worked out in over a month. I've been eating crazy because we've been moving and packing and stuff. So we've been just buying food every single day for the past like three weeks. Um, so yeah, these, these little, these little, these little things right here got to go. So this week is going to be, I'm going to try to unpack. I want to get my hair done. I want to get my nails done, my toes done, start working out, doing my meal prep and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Hey y'all, I haven't seen you guys in a mini, but you guys just saw me a second ago. But last time you guys seen me, I said I was going to be taking care of myself and taking care of my house, unpacking, and that's what I've been doing. So I got my nails done, I got a little chrome tips, almond shape, I never get almond shape and I'm loving it. I got my hair done, I mean, oh, I'll show you guys later, okay? I didn't do my hair today, but I got my hair done yesterday and it looks beautiful. I got it cut. I got some little face framing layers going on. So I'm loving that. I got my toes done. I'm feeling so good. I did my eyebrows yesterday. I do them myself. I just pluck them. So I've been unpacking and right now the challenge is my closet. I've been working on this for like almost a week and I want to complete it today I'm just tired of it I I need to be able to see all my clothes and for it to look super pretty and I just want to be done with it so I got a whole bunch of stuff from Dollar Tree you guys Dollar Tree has been helping me out like I got Dollar Tree all over my house and I realized I never gave you guys a house tour like an empty house tour so I'm gonna have to give you guys a house tour with my house being like somewhat unpacked and somewhat like packed i got these um scarf hanger things they have little hooks but i'm gonna see if i can put my um purses on them so my dollar tree has the the dollar tree plus section i think that's what it's called dollar tree plus and so i got these stackable bins you can stack them onto each other oh this is gonna be so much space and organization to my closet i already have two of them in here so I got three more. So I got some of these. I'm thinking about using these in my bathroom, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, so these are supposed to be for like the kitchen cabinets, but I have another idea for them. Walmart, this is liner. I've been using this all over the shelf because we have all of these wired shelves all around the house and it has holes. So my high heels go through the cracks. So I needed to line them up with this so that it's... Um, so that they don't go through and then i got this ginormous basket for three dollars okay so i have my shoes all here this is unorganized unorganized organized um i got my purses down here i don't know if that's gonna stay like that i have all my crop tops here and then down there i have skirts i don't have very many skirts so yeah I got sandals here. I have my bras hanging on there. All my clothes are in bags because that's how I packed them up. And this was also Dollar Tree bags. $13 for $1.25. So I use those for because they're very, very cheap. I just use those to cover up my clothes so they wouldn't get dirty. Um, the shoe rack up there is from Walmart. It's $10. I put Dollar Tree pool noodles inside of my boots to help them stand up like that. Um, those racks up there, I've already had. I've had them for many, many, many years, like, since our very, very first apartment. And I had gotten those from Ali, from Ali, and those were $5 each. Um, what else? I have my pants right here. 
I have another one of those big old baskets that were three dollars right here and this is just holding like all my um what do you call these lounge pants I have this container that I've also had for years 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 and years these are from Walmart um, so this has like my gym, my bras, gym bras, gym pants, gym shirts, and jackets. Over here, I have those stackable things from Dollar Tree. And so up here, I have my pajamas. And then down here, I have swimsuits. So I'm going to add two more, maybe three more right there. Oh, yeah. These things I've had also for many, many years. These are from Walmart. They still have these at Walmart. And they're still pretty affordable. They also have some of these at um, Dollar Tree at the five plus or at the Dollar Tree plus section, but there are five sections. I think this one's six. Yeah, the one at Dollar Tree is a five section one for five dollars. Um, and over there, I have my sweatsuits, like matching sets. So organizing has been like my priority right now. I've been organizing like crazy all the closets, the kitchen. Oh, my kitchen is so pretty. But I'll show you guys all that later. I don't know if I should just do. A separate video or do a vlog I don't know um because I have a lot of organization everywhere and it makes me so happy so I've been investing my money into organization because I know it's going to help make life practical functional organized and less mess which I love and um more so than spending money on decorations so I really don't care about decorations right now I care about um organization and cleanliness um, only because the house that we lived in before had so much, so many built-ins, like built-in storage into the house. That was an old, historic, antique house over 100 years old. So it had a lot of built-ins and every room had a closet. The bathroom had a walk-in closet. The kitchen had a walk-in pantry. The living room had a closet. The entryway had a coat closet there was just a lot of storage everywhere and here there is not that much storage so that's why it's been a priority i've been organizing my kids rooms and um babe's closet because he has the smallest closet so that was really challenging but um yeah so let me sh quick quickly show you guys this thing is one of the cool things that i found and when i went back to dollar tree today to get another one because I want one for myself and I'm planning on putting my sunglasses in there but that's one of these little shelf thingies they're super tiny but they fit snapback hats really well and then I use one in my daughter's closet for her little high heel shoes and um yeah so I mean he just threw that shirt in there yesterday I was like sir please hang your shirts up Okay, so I pretty much cleared the floor and used up all the things that I got except for what's left here. I have a couple more hangers. Um, I have one of these left. I think I'm going to use it for my bras because I have them all still hanging on this hanger here. But it's such a hassle to go through all of them to get the one that I want. Um, I still have to line up these shelves. Um... You see how I lined this one up so that the heels don't go through. Um, I had to line up these ones as well. And those ones all don't have heels, so they're good. Um, and then my flip-flops are here. I used the basket, and the basket fit perfectly inside of this. So I really like that because this is like loose kind of things that are hard to fold. This beautiful i love these things so much probably one of my most favorite items i've ever found at dollar tree um my purses hang beautifully 
on these hangers and I used one of them. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way, but I was trying it out. Um, I hung up my body suits in here. So if it's five body suits, um, that way it's easy to grab and it takes up less hanger space. So I really like that. I think I might do that with all my body suits. I'm going to see if I can get more of those and do that. And don't mind all my makeup. I still need to unpack all my makeup. So all my jackets kind of don't fit really good in my closet and I don't really have space in the coat closet anymore. So I don't know what to do. I might have to put like my seasonal clothes into my daughter's closet because she has a lot of room in there. So I'm in my daughter's closet and her closet is probably the biggest closet. I think it's the biggest closet um, in the house. <laughs> All her clothes are here. You see how she put her little heels in there and they fit perfectly. They're hanging there. Um, and then right there is, is usually a basket for laundry, but I'm doing the laundry right now. And this is a bins, her pants, underwear, socks, pajamas, and then she has her coats. And she still has all that space up there, all that space up there. And over here... She, I put my lights up there, my box lights, for now just to get them out the way because I don't want them to get damaged. I don't know where I'm going to keep them, but it might be in here. And then she has this whole row that is not being used. This is my kids' recuerdo outfits from their bautizo, their baptism. My ring light is there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put my jackets in here. My seasonal clothes, I think I'm going to put it in here because um, she has a lot of space. It might not be super aesthetically pleasing, but it's highly functional. Everything has a spot. It's very organized and it makes me very happy. So more heels, a little purse. Okay, then down here I have all my jeans stacked, um, pants stacked. Down here in this little Dollar Tree bin, I have... Oh, why is this short like this? I have all my shorts, like whether they're dress shorts or jean shorts. All the shorts fit perfectly into this little bin from the Dollar Tree Plus section. And then I have another Dollar Tree Plus section over here. And this one has all of my lounge pants, some makeup cases down there. And I put all my crop tops in here. So these are like my casual crop tops, dress crop tops, short sleeve ones. These are my cropped t-shirts. Um, this is skirts section. Those are all like sets. I usually wear those like around the fall or the winter. So that's why I put them back there. Cause right and then on another one of these hangers with the hooks, I just hung up like my most worn bras and then I have another thinged basket from Dollar Tree right here with more bras socks and underwear down here I have my gym clothes um loungy t-shirts right there loungy um sweatshirts hoodies um this is just like a random little box that I've been having forever and I just have a backpack in there and then another backpack on top a hat right here because I don't know where to put it and then yeah so right here i mostly have like summer clothes or clothes that i would wear like right now that it's warm and all my winter clothes and all my jackets are in my daughter's closet because her closet is huge and she is, has little things so if it's perfectly in there so i am so happy with how it turned out because it's like i said very functional i know where everything is i know where everything goes i can quickly access everything and um i am a little bit short <laughs> to like i can't really reach this stuff up here but i'm just gonna keep a stool in here so that i can grab everything all right so i also organize my bathroom i've been having these little things forever i'm talking since like the very first apartment no like our second apartment so probably since like 2013 no lie, I've been having these things for like 10 years. Sometimes the Dollar Tree still has these um, in different colors. Uh, these are just stackable little bins. I love them. So this is like a really, really narrow cabinet under the sink thing. These are bins from the Dollar Tree that I've also been having um, that they always have. And so 
I fit a couple in here. So there's one back there that's empty. I can put stuff in there. I have this one here with like some cleaning things. And this is from the Dollar Tree 2. This is supposed to be like a little shelf thing for the kitchen. But I used it in here so that it gives me um, access to like both bins. And in this one, I put towels for babe in here. So he just has that one left. Um, this I also lined this. I line everything. And down here, I would just have a little laundry hamper and vanity chair. Then in here, this is my section. I put some more of those in here. That just has like the things that I reach for on a daily basis. Some little makeup removing stuff, body care stuff, body sprays. Um, and then at the bottom one, I have like extra hair things. And in this little thing, in this thing, I have like all like, like my most used skincare products. And I was going to keep this on top, like next to the sink, but I just keep it in here. Um, it's functional. If I need it, I can just pull it out. So that part is a little bit messy, but it still works for me. It has a spot. You know, and I use this every single day so it doesn't stay looking pretty because I literally use it twice a day, every day. Then I have my lotion here that I also use every day. This thing that I use every time I wash my hair. And this thing that I use every day. Then over here, I have, um, I've been having this little Ulta caddy forever. Um, I put another one of those things in here. Um, this is hair rollers, hair curlers another one of those shelf things, another bin, and this has like my hair tools in there. This is mostly like products and brushes. And then this little thing just lives in there for when I put it on at night. Use this once, no, twice already. I've used this thing twice and I use this thing twice. I'll share that with you guys later because it's actually pretty cool. Since I just got my hair done recently, I just, the day that I got my hair done, I ordered these because I was like, yes, I need to maintain my hair. Then up here, um, on top of the sink, I have this thing from Forever, Rose Forever, that used to live in my beauty room, but I really have nowhere to put that now, like all my little beauty room accessories. This was in my beauty room, beauty room, beauty room. So now it's in my bathroom. So this is um, the Q-tip jar cotton round jar and then I need a little soap dispenser in here for now we just have this one and then in here it just houses um our toothbrushes and stuff all right so this is my vanity this is where my vanity lives now that mirror I moved it um I don't know where I want it to live so I put it there for now so I organize my vanity so nicely because I don't have a beauty room anymore. I don't have any extra storage. This is all I have. So like I mentioned before in my previous video, I got rid of a lot of things, a lot of makeup. I gave away a lot of makeup. I threw out makeup. Um, right here, I just have jewelry and sunglasses. Um, in here, I have foundations and primers and concealers. Um, I got these super awesome containers from Walmart online. They came in four different sizes. So this is a big rectangle in here, this long one, this medium one, and then some tiny ones. It came with a bunch. I don't even know. So this is like my most used um, eyeshadow palettes, some colorful eyeshadow palettes, and then some face palettes. Um, face powders, bronzers, blushes, highlights. So in here you can see I have so many of these little containers and it really helped to organize everything. These containers right here, these are from the Dollar Tree. Um, my eyelashes, this is one of the little tiny containers. So this is housing my little eyelash glues. This is my all my eyelashes. And then... Down here is all my lip products and lip pencils I put inside of these containers. And you see, I try to do everything like easy access. Oops, 
I dropped some. But yeah, so I place those strategically so that I can easily pull them out and put them in here. Um, so yeah, this one um, is like my fall colors, my dark one. So I put it back there since I don't reach for it that often at the moment. Um, I use some more of these little tiny ones. So if I do want to access the back ones, I can move that out of the way, slide it, and access it. So everything is really functional, practical, organized, beautiful. I am obsessed with it. Um, oh, look. I also reused these containers. These used to live on my vanity. These, like, makeup organizer acrylic things. I just put them in here. Look, even this one. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, but these ones are, like, acrylic makeup organizers. They can find at, like, Ross and Home Goods. They fit in here. So I used it to organize my lipsticks. And then... Down here, these drawers used to live on my vanity also. Um, so I left it in here and I strategically placed it again so that I can open up my drawers and get my stuff. So this is my little broken Amrezy highlighter that I love with all my heart. And she gets her very own little drawer. And this is just um, pencil eyeliners that didn't fit over here and my little... Uh, jewels that I like to put on my eyes and stuff little eye primers my glitters right here down here what is this face powders and color pop so this is eyeliners and then this is colorful eyeliners and then back here is pencil I mean um eyebrow products that I don't really use too much but um you know easy access over there and just move everything around boom boom Oh, and this is also from Dollar Tree. So these are those little Dollar Tree drawers that you can find. They're literally a little drawer and then you can like stack them. But I took out the drawer and I only kept like the base of it and put it like that. And it fits perfectly in these deep drawers of the Alex 9 drawer. Perfectly. Look at that. Flush. Perfect. Down here I have a shoe box that's housing a bunch of little random skincare and hair care items that I may reach for whenever anything from my bathroom runs out. Um, this is a laser hair removal device that lives right here um, along with its goggles and stuff. A bar of soap that I got from Ipsy. And then this is all my nails, my fake nails. And this is like my little pouch of nail glue and stuff like that. And then back there, I have a container of contacts. I got this cute thing from Home Goods. I think it was like $15. I don't know. It was, I thought it was really pretty and affordable. So I put all my perfumes on there. And the reason why I didn't use those acrylic things up here is because I don't really have space. I used to have them living here. Also, I have this gap right here from my vanity to the wall because my mirror is like thick. It has a really thick base. So I have that little gap there. So these little brushes live there. And then so I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's perfect to fit there. And then I found this at Home Goods, and I was just like, wow, it fits perfectly right here. So this is like my everyday makeup. This is my everyday makeup, my everyday brushes. So literally, I can just get this and do my makeup. I don't need to go through any drawer at all. If I'm going to do my makeup in the car, I'll take it. If I'm going to do my makeup in the bathroom, I'm going to take it. Everything is literally right here. Um, and then I have another one of those little tiny containers in here to house my little tools, face products, my face brushes. And this was from Home Goods. Look. The price is on there $12 and it fits perfectly right here and it won't fall from that empty space there it's not gonna fall out it fits perfectly there and I love that look it so cute up here I I don't have I used to have a whole bunch of pictures displayed in my vanity in my beauty room so now I just have these of my two babies and me and babe and then some jewelry that i have there 
I organized my drawer with some more of those things that I told you. I'm going to have these linked down below. I'm obsessed with these, you guys. I totally recommend them. They are such great, great quality. And I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. Um, really great quality. So affordable. So right here, I put, this is one of those long ones. And then I put a little tiny one inside to hold sharpeners. And then I have this little tiny thing with these things in here and then on this side so I kind of like divided it right here I have like little hand creams body glow moisturizer just kind of random kind of but it's basically like a moisturizing thing mini little perfumes in here um some of these little perfumes in here back there I have hand sanitizers um this is like my most favorite palette ever so she lives here she doesn't even live over there she lives here because i love it um and then this i use very often and then i have an extra palette brand new in here because i love it that much and this little one i have these two palettes because these are like my most used palettes and they didn't fit over here so they just live there i have this for when i do like um makeup reels i use this i can place this on my vanity and it's like perfect height this to hold my hair back this is a light in case i need it hand mirror a fan for when i use my setting sprays and then this is all my setting sprays so these acrylic drawers are from dollar tree this is from dollar tree um it has these little lines on it the ones that i ordered from walmart don't have lines they're just a solid clear acrylic like this so that's for my beauty blenders, more setting sprays. And then this is just like um, things that I use when I'm on the go, like a sunglasses case, a little makeup case. You guys have no idea how happy it makes me to know that everything is nice and organized. And it took me, um, actually, this is what I did on Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, I told Babe, like, what I want is to organize my closet and my makeup because I want to be able to sit down and do my makeup comfortably, get dressed, and, you know, use my stuff. Because I was feeling really ugly for a long time because I didn't have any of my things organized so I couldn't, like, easily access them. And so that's what I did on Mother's Day. I spent all morning organizing, clearing the floor. You guys saw in the video how my floor is full of boxes and stuff so i cleared it out and it made me so happy and then that night on mother's day i got all dressed up and glammed up for dinner um so this stuff here is stuff that i ordered from amazon i'm so excited so i ordered gold curtain rods and this is like the rings for the curtains i'm gonna use the curtains that i had in my previous house um they're just white basic curtains from ikea um cover a duvet insert um and then some bed sheets all from amazon i'll have it linked down below I got the sheets in the wash. The, I don't know if it's supposed to get like more fluffy since it was air sealed, like compressed, but I'm gonna wash it and dry it on gentle cycle and see if it like fluffs up a little bit more.
and um, this thing got really fluffy after I washed it and put it in the dryer and then I also laid it on my bed and was like fluffing it out like this. So now I am going to attempt to put the um, cover on the comforter or on the duvet. Okay, uh, so let's do that. directions on how to do it I just kind of figured it out um so I laid the duvet insert then I laid the cover on top of it inside out and then I tied all the corners up and flipped it um and then flipped it right side out with the duvet inside and then buttons it up that's it easy peasy i love how it looks it looks so nice and comfy literally i am aiming for hotel vibes luxury relaxation sanctuary cozy freshness that's what i want so yeah we need to finish it off with like some decorative things as you saw i spent most of the day cleaning today so i figured i'd give you guys a little home tour because i haven't done that so um this is the living room um that's our new couch we got we got rid of the other one the big huge couch that was pretty much like a bed over here we have the tv on the ground uh because we don't know where to put it um that is a fireplace so we don't know where to put it because it's kind of like an awkward spot. Like we don't know if we should put it there because I wanted to put a desk right there. And then I wanted essentially the TV to be like hanging from a ceiling thing right here. Uh, but we don't know if we want to do all that since this is a rental. So if you guys have any ideas where we could put the TV, I don't know. Because over here we have this um, balcony. And then over here is the kitchen. And just all's over there. <laughs> And this is the dining room. Um, we're still waiting for our dining table to arrive. Uh, we have like a huge um, six chair dining table coming in and it's been taking forever to get here. So hopefully sometime soon. Giselle is making some uh, mermaid puzzles. We're getting excited for the mermaid movie that comes out today. The Little Mermaid. Today is also my son's last day of school. So then here is a tiny little kitchen. One thing we didn't like about this um, apartment is that it doesn't have like the updated appliances, um, the stainless steel appliances, um, because at the moment when we rented it, uh, this was the unit that had a garage uh, that was available. No, so this unit was the only unit available with um, 
a garage. There was another three bedroom apartment available with the upgraded appliances, but they were, they had no garage and that was a, a no-no for us. So um, it's still a good kitchen. All right, and then over here, that's my, my son's room is over there. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, and then the bathroom that you guys saw me cleaning earlier is here. Ah, <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, we definitely, I want to decorate it super cute, but then again, I also don't want to decorate too much since we're planning on being here for hopefully just a year. If she says home. Oh, hello. <laughs> Could you give us a room tour? Mm -hmm. All right. Come over here. Mm -hmm. My sleep right here. They eat and the same thing. Cool. Alright, what else do you have in your room? What are those suitcases over here? Oh, my books are in them. Your books are in there, right? Okay, yes, what you else? Know, your bed is it's on the floor? Yes, because we don't have my bed. <laughs> so Temporary. Have we have this in the meantime. Because we need to buy you a bed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna move into my kitchen. Okay. After. Mm-hmm. Where's your other one? Okay. Okay. Wow, cool things in here. Big closet just for you. <laughs> so those are storage bins from Dollar Tree that fit perfectly. I stuffed my clothes in here. There are random storage things up there. So you have a table there. Mm -hmm. This is for extra crafts or when I, put, when I put my like, toy kitchen clothes on. Yeah. And this is for her nightlight that spins and projects onto the walls and the ceiling. And then we got my rocking chair and 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 my rocking
Face to face with a cheetah thing and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is rocket science. <laughs> Okay. You ready for a makeup remover? Okay, I think I did it. Ready for makeup remover? Okay. And we're celebrating Memorial Day at the Wilderness with tons and dogs. I just heard slap, 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 slap. Hi, Jessica. Okay, we're about to get on this water slide. I can't. I don't. I would never be like that. It's so boring. Just watching people swim. Why are we gonna do that? in Wisconsin Dells. We're headed to go get some breakfast. Okay, we ate our breakfast. Now we came out to the pool. It's nice and early. It's empty it's like to it's claim like our spots. Oh, they're all taken? So it's empty right now? We just asked the lifeguards if they could let us come in to claim our spots. And they were like, yeah. <laughs> We got two little lounge chairs for me to get my tan on, and then we got a little table over there for the kids, and I'm basically gonna be the only one tanning. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day here at the wilderness. So I hope you guys all had a great Memorial Day weekend, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Bye!